after she just texted me, then she's been, uh, she's like five minutes away, so. I'm gonna go and so let's get over. No. I'm gonna be uh, filming this all by myself just because of I kind of just wanna do wanna do this episode like that. So years ago so can you first tell us like how did everything like how did the, <coughs> how was it and the work was very busy we had to work all the time but do you want to know about the food or uh, well we'll get to that okay <laughs> but um like but I like like to work there. It was many young people working there, and also I was young. Yeah, also, I just noticed that like, the camera is picking up all of us. There we go. Uh, okay. So, the next thing what I want to ask is that <coughs> what? Okay, let's ask about the money. Okay. How much money did you make? Actually, I don't remember, but I was a student at that time and, and I think they pay, paid pretty okay. Not Nothing specially high, but, but it was good money for a student. Uh, okay. Um, <coughs> the next thing what I want to ask is that what a lot of people want to know about it is about and like do they because a lot of people think that put like stuff in their food like put some chemicals in their food to make it more like more like give i guess like and like make people like feel feel more into it or like, like something like that or like people yeah addicted to it i don't believe that i think that it's but because it's not healthy we all know that there is a lot of fat in a food and a lot of salt so salt salt so so i i suppose people get addicted to those because they taste good but actually everything was very clean we were forced to keep everything very clean all the time and if we made made any hamburgers uh, before they were sold they, they couldn't stay in a bin it was this place where you hold the uh, hamburgers uh, they couldn't be there there more than was it 10 or 15 minutes and if they were not sold at that in that time you had to throw them away Did you ever know why? Uh, maybe they uh, they wanted to make sure that people don't get sick if, if the food is uh, kept warm too long. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> there's this thing going on uh, that apparently. Okay, 
we'll get to the main main thing that I want to ask about. Okay. But we'll get to that. But there's this thing going on. Apparently, uh, and like <coughs> people like. <coughs> so have you ever looked? Okay, let's start with this. <coughs> okay. <coughs> did you ever? Did you ever look inside of a burger, or like inside of an egg that you had to throw it away? Did you ever look inside? No, because they were packed. But of course, I looked because we made those we first. We yeah, but I mean, them. like, I mean, like when they they got to and they got. No, I didn't. No, why? Well, there's this theory going on that if you keep like a hamburger in one place for too long, yeah, apparently they start like bubbling up and like they don't look. And they are like, <coughs> uh, I have a few videos that yeah. I've been watching mm -hmm. over this time period of the last episode and this episode. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> I saw like, uh, <coughs> I saw this guy yeah, who left burgers in one place for 24 hours. Then he came back and all, the, all those burgers were like bubbled up. Seen. But apparently that's true, so okay. Another thing what is the main attraction what I want to know yeah. which we tested out in the last episode. Yeah. Which is do you cook you know like the milkshake machines? Yes I know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, why do they use it? Why does everybody literally when, like every time you go to one of those? Yeah. Why? What? Why are they almost every time? But if you come past that, uh, past uh, an hour, an hour before closing, why? Are, why are they always broken? Everybody says, oh, always like, I'm sorry, they're broken, or something like that. Because it might be because of that that. Uh, when you work there, you always have to clean them at the end of the day, uh, and maybe they have sometimes cleaned it too early before they have closed. So the fear is true that they <coughs> close off the machines before an hour before closing. Uh, when I was working, we didn't do that, but I just guessed that. Maybe someone has done it because then <laughs> you could get home earlier. You do, didn't have to clean it at, um, at the end of the day. Oh. There's something where you want to see or a secret, a secret. No. Is there anything what was kind of like what they didn't want to get into the public eye? No. Not that I know. <coughs> were they like the managers of it? What were they really like? I wouldn't say like suspicious, but were they like? Really secretive with some, with some, were they acting really weird about something like some I, subjects? I didn't see it the, <coughs> the big boss many times, just a couple of times because you know, they weren't there. They were, were always the, uh, we who worked there and then one person who would be, I don't know how you call it in English, it's like chef for that time of the day. Do you know who that is? Chief. chief. You I'm know sorry. who that chief is? The big boss. No, the chief. 
it was always one of us. It was those workers who had worked a long time there. So mm. one was nominated to the C, like C for I don't know, manager of, of other workers. Okay, do you know anybody like <coughs> me who I could talk to? Actually, I worked in for a long time. Did it, and did he get like. Yeah, I haven't talked about that with him. Okay. Uh, could I get like his phone number or something so I could actually call, her, call him about this? Uh, maybe, yeah. But not just right now. Okay, we'll <coughs> okay. We'll talk about it. For, we'll we'll talk about it a little later on off camera, and then we will, and then I can, and then later on in the series I can actually like talk to him and ask him about about questions about this. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.